Have you ever wondered in the Civil War why the opposing sides lined up in straight lines and fired at each other at close range? Why are they not hiding behind stuff? Why are they ducking? Why, isn't there a tree somewhere? The answer is because of weapon technology. Most Civil War officers were trained in the old Napoleonic way of fighting. Back then, guns were not real accurate. Most guns had a smooth bore barrel and a shot a ball. When fired, the ball would come out without spinning and thus not fly straight much like a knuckleball in baseball. Thus, because the guns were not accurate, they bunched the men into compacted groups and all fired at once. By the time of the Civil War, technology had changed, but officers were slow to change tactics. One major advancement was the technique of rifling. Rifling put a spiral groove in the barrel, thus spinning the ball, making it fly straighter. Also, the ball wouldn't last long. A Frenchman named Minnie, not that Minnie, developed a pointed ball, called the Minnie Ball also increasing the accuracy. Lastly, the cartridge was invented, drastically cutting back the time it took to load and shoot. Further advancements would be in the gun itself. The breech-loaded rifle allowed cartridges to be loaded in the breech, and then later, the lever-action gun. Cartridges, or bullets, would be loaded in the lower barrel, and then when the lever was used, a new bullet would be chambered. With muskets, a well-trained soldier could fire three aim shots in 60 seconds. Now you can fire 10 aim shots in 10 seconds. Lastly, new rifling and breech-loaded technology were adapted to cannons, making them faster and more accurate as well. But the most dangerous was the invention of the canister. Canister is like a shotgun for humans. It is a little bigger than a Folgers coffee can, but it is filled with lead balls of all shapes and sizes. When infantry, in a straight line, assaulted a fixed position, they were literally ripped apart. This would have important consequences throughout battles of the Civil War, but no more important than Gettysburg. Pickett's charge, an all-out assault by the south on northern lines, was stopped by the north by firing double canister into the lines. 14,000 Southerners died in 20 minutes. The north went on to win the battle and eventually the war. In conclusion, what was the effect of having old tactics combined with new technology? The answer, we had extremely high casualty rates in the Civil War.